world. Yeah. How well yeah. do you really relate personally to the role within that? Because that's something, you know, many millions of people can relate to that most people don't talk about. It's really taboo to talk about of what professional bodybuilders and fitness people go through from identity crisis to body dysmorphia to over 99% have eating disorders, especially when it comes to competitions. What role did you have personally in this? Or were you able to find out more like, wow, I never knew that this could happen in, in the fitness industry? Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, my own personal journey, I, I never, uh, I never got into drugs, thankfully. Um, and uh, my my personal story with health was that I, I had really bad health problems, a lot of chronic pain when I was younger. Um, I, I was always interested in fitness, even as a teenager. Um, but I had to I just take a step back literally for about a decade. Uh, from fitness because I just had to deal with with my health problems and had to really become kind of my own expert um, in in walking through all of that. Um, coming into gym rat, I had overcome all of those those setbacks and and gotten back into fitness. And I was really you know into strength training and lifting weights. And um, this there's a number of things that kind of came together that coalesced to form this project. But initially the thing that, that really felt like a wonderful full circle for me was that I, I actually got into acting partly because I had to give up all my hobbies like working out um, because of the pain. And I, I did acting because it was something that I felt I could do, you know, in, in the condition that I had. Um, and then to come back and as an actor to play a role of, you know, a guy who's a fitness freak um, was just a really cool full circle thing to me. And I, I liked the idea of the, the body transformation challenge. You know, I put on 20 to 30 pounds of muscle mass over the course of making this film. Um, and I love that opportunity to, to take on a new skill, to transform myself for a role. Um, but as I got into the film, I really got, you know, more connected to bodybuilding culture Um got to spend time with some, some guys who are really serious with it and, and learn some of these problems they are talking about. And yeah, I mean, even in the last couple of years, there's been a, a huge acceleration, I think of, of just guys dropping dead, you know, 30, 40 years old. Um, and uh, even the people who don't, you know, it doesn't become some terminal, uh, you know, crisis for them. Uh, there's so many people who just struggle emotionally like you said, with the process, I was talking to one, one guy who, you know, remained anonymous, um, who's, who's pretty well known. And, uh, he's, the guy's jacked. I mean, he was considering competing in Mr. Olympia at one point, And, uh, he told me that he gets up every morning, looks in the mirror and feels like he's skinny. And, uh, that, that's kind of part of the, the dynamic of this, this character is that, you know, here you have a guy who's good looking in amazing shape, looks super fit. And he's disgusted with himself because he just doesn't compare to the image he has in his head of what he thinks he needs to be. 